What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. The Dodgers are expected to make a run at Aaron Judge. We've got the latest Judge rumors coming up in just a second. But quick reminder for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all off season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you want to see the Dodgers pursue Aaron Judge? Do you think his contract will age well? Do you think he's a good fit in LA? Do you think there is a realistic chance they will sign him or is this just a smoke screen? I want all your takes on Judge down below and for all the latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com So today we've got an update on the biggest, most coveted free agent this offseason literally and figuratively in Aaron Judge. After the Dodgers non-tendered Cody Bell rumors started to begin swirling that maybe the Dodgers could make a run at the MVP. John Heyman tweeted out, word going around now is Dodgers will make a run at Aaron Judge. Logical with $100 million now off the books with Bellinger, Kimbrell, Anderson, Heaney, Price, and two turners off the roster. Needs include shortstop, third base, starting pitchers, relief pitchers, and now outfield. So first things first, you know what we have to do. Break out that Dodgers rumor meter. And for this rumor that has the Dodgers making a run at Aaron Judge, right now I'm going to give this a two and a half Dodger dog. Somewhere in between people are talking and some serious smoke because I do think the Dodgers are going to do their due diligence. I do think they want to see if there's any chance that Aaron Judge will seriously consider signing with L.A. But at the moment, the reason why I'm pessimistic about the idea is because the Yankees are all in on I'm bringing Aaron back to the Bronx. They want to see him retire in pinstripes. They know he's their guy. And I think the Yankees are going to be too tough of competition because they are going to be willing to back up the Brinks truck for the AL MVP. And yes, this isn't George Steinbrenner's Yankees. They are a little more cost conscious in the Bronx under Hal Steinbrenner. But they also have proven that they, when they want a player badly, they are willing to spend. Just look at the $300 plus million dollar contract that Garrett Cole signed. And I think what it boils down to is Aaron Judge is more valuable to the Yankees than he is to any team around the league. Aaron Judge sells number 99 jerseys. Aaron Judge puts butts in the seats. Aaron Judge gets eyeballs on TV screens. He's one of those few marquee box office players in the league that's transcended, that the casual fan tunes in to see. And I think the Yankees fully realize that and they realize that they're going to get some bang for their buck, even if the back half of this deal ages poorly. They realize that, hey, if we get four or five good years out of Aaron Judge, where he's an all-star player, and maybe move him to DH towards the second half of that career, then it's going to be valuable, because they will be selling Aaron Judge merchandise long after he retires, and I think the Yankees realize the importance of that, and I think the Yankees are more than willing to overpay for Aaron Judge, because anytime you put together a contract year like he did last season, it's going to be an overpay. Let's just be honest about it, and I think the Yankees realize that he's most likely not going to replicate the season he had in 2022, where he hit 62 home runs, hit 311, had a 207 WRC plus, an 11.4 F4. Those numbers were through the roof. I don't think that they can expect that moving forward, but what Aaron Judge is, is a guy, in my opinion, that's going to get you 40 to 50 home runs a year. That's going to hit hopefully close to 300, probably more likely in the 275 range. A guy that's going to give you seven plus war seasons for the remainder of his prime which should last another three four or five years and then after that like I said you move him to DH and I definitely will hurt to have Stanton and Judge at DH and maybe they try to move Stanton at some point but he's a guy you absolutely have to bring back to New York and the rumor right now is that the Yankees they made a massive first offer Ramon D. Carmona tweet out our sources in New York tell me that the Yankees offered 330 37 million to Aaron Judge. His agent and the player are looking at other offers. So first and foremost, if you don't know Ramon D. Carmona, he is legit. He has broken and really been on stories in the past. And I've talked to ESPN's Hector Gomez about him, and he is very trusted in the Dominican Republic. And if that is the Yankees' first offer,
offer. If they are starting at $337 million, there's no question in my mind that they're going to be willing to go up to $350 million and beyond. Now, the current record for a position player when it comes to AAV is Mike Trout. When Mike Trout signed that 10-year $360 million extension with the Angels, and then, of course, there's Max Scherzer's $43.33 million AAV, but that's a pitcher, and that was on a short-term deal. Bryce Harper, he signed that $330 million contract. That's the largest ever deal signed in free agency, so it looks like we are headed for a record-setting deal for Aaron Judge, and Brian Cashman and Hal Steinbrenner have been very vocal about their pursuit of their superstar. Brian Hoach tweeted out from last night, Brian Cashman said the Yankees have made an updated offer to Aaron Judge, who turned down a $213.5 million extension before opening day. Quote, it's in real time, so we're on the clock, Cashman said. We're certainly not going to mess around. And yeah, if you make him a $337 million first offer, that tells me that you absolutely are not messing around. Then over the weekend, Hal Steinbrenner backed Cashman's words saying that the Yankees absolutely conveyed that they want him to be a, quote, Yankee for the rest of his life. So the Yankees are all in on Aaron Judge. So where does this leave the Dodgers if they truly want to make a run for him? Well, if the Dodgers are going to sign Aaron Judge, there's no way in hell that he's going to consider one of these short-term high AAV deals. It just doesn't make sense when you consider his age. He's already 30 years old. He'll turn 31 in April. And you compare this to the Dodgers' pursuit of Bryce Harper. Well, the Dodgers' deal to Harper was going to allow him to be a free agent by the age of 30. So that kind of made some sense if Bryce wanted to test the market and have that flexibility. But if you're Aaron Judge, you're already 30 years old and there are already monster offers out there. So there's no way the Dodgers could get away with one of those deals. So the only way they could get Aaron Judge, the only path to get him to sign would be to vastly overpay somewhere in the $350 million and beyond range, maybe even $375 million. It is going to take a lot of scratch to get Aaron Judge to consider the Dodgers. And then also you have the San Francisco Giants out there that have made it very clear that they're going to do everything in their financial power to try to get him to San Francisco. He grew up 100 miles from San Francisco. He grew up a Giants fan. There is a storyline there. They have money to spend. They would love to have him in San Fran. But right now, if you look at all these details and read these tea leaves, all these signs point to Aaron Judge re-signing with the New York Yankees. The only way I could see him signing with the Dodgers is if the Yankees aren't serious about these offers, if they don't want to pay up big, or he wants to be on the West Coast. Maybe he wants to be in California and he doesn't like the fit in San Francisco and he wants to be in LA. And is he a need for the Dodgers? Probably not. Is his contract going to age well at the end? Probably not. But can you imagine that power with Aaron Judge and you combine him with Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts? That is the best one, two, three in Major League Baseball. So from the Dodgers standpoint, you can see where it makes sense. And yes, you would have to shuffle some things around. Maybe Mookie Betts plays some second base, which I'm not a big fan of because part of the reason why Mookie is signed to that $365 million contract is because he's the best defensive right fielder in the game. So you're getting less value from Mookie at second base than you would in right field. But you could also use Aaron Judge as a left fielder as well. They could make things work and then you would see him at DH at some point throughout his career towards the back end, maybe even earlier just to keep him healthy. So I do like the idea of Aaron Judge in Dodger Blue, but at that price, it's going to be very difficult. There's been a lot of talk about the Dodgers trying to reset the $233 million CBT. And look, if they go over, they're in the $245 million range. They'll be in that second tier. And yes, they would be a third time payer and offender. So they would be taxed more. I'm going to drop an entire video on the current state of the Dodgers payroll later this week. But from what I'm hearing and what I know, it's not an absolute must. If there is the right guy out there, the right signing, they will be willing to go over and exceed that $233 million on the payroll. But on the flip side, if they don't make any big impact signings, the silver lining is they will be able to reset and they will be able to allow guys to develop some of these young prospects. And I do think that is something that could be in play next season. And while I'm sorry if I'm popping your Aaron Judge to the Dodgers balloon and pouring cold water on your Aaron Judge to LA dreams, but I think right now there is less than a 25% chance that he does sign with the Dodgers. But if there is a situation where
where it's between the Dodgers and the Giants for Aaron Judge, I could see them signing him. But right now, I think the Yankees are in the driver's seat. But a few weeks ago, I spoke to MLB Network's Alana Rizzo. She, of course, covered the Dodgers for so many years. And we discussed Aaron Judge's future and where he was ultimately going to sign. And here's what she had to say. Aaron Judge is going to be a Yankee. He he's not. He understands the importance of. I'm not saying the Dodgers won't try to sign yeah, Aaron yeah. Judge, but I think Aaron Judge understands the importance of what it means to be a Yankee for the remainder of his career, and, and what breaking this record does not only for him but for his stock and, and what it means to that fan base. I don't think that. He, I mean, yes, yeah, Steve Cohen is going to try to give him a half a billion dollars, but I don't think Aaron Judge is going to go from the Yankees to the Mets. To me, that would just be, that would be asinine. I do think that he wants to remain a Yankee for the remainder of his career, and I, I do think that he will be. All of the big market teams will be in on him for sure. But he has an opportunity in the AL East to legitimately go to the World Series or certainly the postseason every single year. He's not going to go to the Giants because the Dodgers are in the division. He's not going to go to the Mets because I don't think he's going to go cross town. And you're also dealing with the Braves in that division. I think the AL East is not that. I mean, yes, no disrespect to Toronto, no disrespect to Tampa Bay. Baltimore is up and coming. I get it. I just think he gets he, he wants to be a Yankee and there's no reason to me that he's not going to be a Yankee. They're just going to have to pay him a lot more than they were going to originally offer him. And, and I'm OK with that. I, I love Mookie Betts in right field. The Dodgers don't need Aaron Judge. Do they want Aaron Judge? Sure. Who doesn't? But the Dodgers don't need Aaron Judge. They need Trey Turner more than they need Aaron Judge. But let me know down below in the comment section. Do you want to see the Dodgers make an aggressive offer for Aaron Judge? Do you think there's a chance he will sign with the Dodgers? Give me your percentage chance right now. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news and rumors all off season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.